Hey, what's up everybody? My name is JR Maddox and in this episode, I'm gonna show you how I do my HDR panel stitching with the DJI Phantom 4 Pro. So, let's get started. All right, so welcome everybody. Again, my name is JR Maddox, and in this episode, we are going to be working on our HDR panels with the DJI Phantom 4 Pro. And first thing we're gonna need to do is set up our drone. Every time you get on location, you're gonna have to reset everything. So let's get started. What we're gonna do is right here on my screen, these, this little section right here, click on that, and it's gonna open up this box right next to it. And I'm clicking here on the picture, and we're going to click on photo and <clears throat> and from here we're going to click on photo that is correct yeah and click here on aeb for our bracketing i choose five you could choose three if you like i like five gives me a little bit more dynamic range and the next setting here is going to be the grid we're going to click right here though on the settings and we're going to come in here and change the grid and also our center points. I like to choose this one for my grid lines and I will show you why just here in a few minutes. And the next slide here is our bracket with center point and that is down here at the very bottom. And I use auto exposure. Yeah, I use auto exposure. So right here on the left hand side, click on auto I make sure my ISO is set to 100. So with that, all of our settings are ready and we're ready to start shooting. I've had somebody ask me, with the drone, why don't you just take one shot all the way back of that location and get it all done in one shot? Well, you don't get as much information in that shot. And as you'll see, when we're completed with the photo, you will see how much detail we have up close. So I like to get as close as I can to the subject and do a pano from there. And this one we're going to have five different sections of photos that we are going to do at five apiece. We're going to do one layer and we're going to go down, we're going to do another layer and then we're going to go down again and do another layer after that. So we're going to have three panos all together. All right, so from here on my screen, the green outline is where I am focusing. I use where I touch the screen to focus. And in this little crosshair right here, I'm going to move this to the vertical grid line, which is right here. So when I move my camera, I'm gonna move it just to the right. I'm gonna keep an eye on where that vertical line is. And I'm just going to move this X to that point right there. And as you can see, now that X is right there. I try and keep it that way so it's consistent every single time. And there we go. I just keep going and this X is going to be right here. And as you can see, it's right there. And at the very end of this, I'm going to move the camera down. And as you can see here, I'm moving the crosshairs to this horizontal line right here. So that X will be right around in this rock area. And then there you go. And there I'm going to keep going all the way to the left now, the same way I did on the upper part. And see the X here is going to be right there. And so on and so forth. And then <clears throat> we are going to get to our next level and that is going to go down and we're going to go to the right. So crosshair to the vertical line, to the vertical line, to the vertical line, to the vertical line. Now we have done all of our shots for all of our panos. We actually have three different panos here. As you remember, we did the top row, we moved the camera down and then we did the second row and we moved the camera down again and then we did the third row. All right, so in Lightroom, what I like to do is I like to create a collections of all the photos that I took on location. It's gonna make things a lot simpler. So the first thing I do is I come up to view and I sort by capture time. This way, I can make sure that everything is in the right order. So now that I have all my images in the right order, I'm going to first click on the first photo and then shift click 
all the way to the last photo and I'm going to hold down shift control H all at the same time and that is going to create the shortcut to merge them into an HDR image and I'm going to continue to do that with all of my photos. For the sake of time I've already done this and as you can see here this is the first shot the first HDR image and I give that a one star because that is on the first tier. The second tier gets two stars and the third tier gets three stars and that way we can keep everything nice and tidy. So after I'm done giving everything a star, as you can see here, let's go, let me just walk you through this. So from here, after it creates an HDR image, right here you can see three little boxes. So I know that is my HDR image from that bracket. I'm going to give that a star and I come over here, one, two, three, four, five. The sixth photo is my HDR merged photo. I give that one star and I continue that all the way across on the first row. And as you can see down here on the second row, I give it a two star. And once I am completed with giving everything a star appropriately to its level, I'll come over here to filter and go by rated. And here you will be able to see all your HDR merged photos that you gave a star to. And here, <clears throat> I'm going to go in and go to the first star and I'm going to go all the way to the last star and shift click that and again I'm going to want to merge those so I'm going to go shift control M because I want to shift because I want to merge that into a pano and once that is complete you will see right here it comes up for the sake of time I already did it and that is your traditional pano Panos are usually narrow and very wide. But when we're done, it is not going to look like that. It's going to look like a regular 35 millimeter photo. So from here, we're going to go to our second level. And we're going to grab on the first one and shift click to the last one. And again, shift control M. That is our shortcut to merge those into a pano. And once that was completed, I gave that a two star. A, I gave that a two star and then I clicked on my third tier and shift clicked it on the first and the last one and shift control M and as you can see it created a merged pano or a merged HDR pano shot here and now from there what we're going to do is we're going to grab our first one our second one and our third one and we are going to merge all three of those together now again we're going to hit shift control M and for the sake of time, I've already done it. And this is your final HDR panel that has been completely stitched in Lightroom and looks awesome. Haven't even edited it yet, but as you can see, there is a lot more detail in this. Look in the shadows. You can see everything in the shadows and you can see everything in the highlights and it is super super detailed has a lot of detail you could put this on the biggest billboard anywhere you want and we started off with 75 photos and we ended up with 93 with all the merged files so 93 photos to make this one photo it has so much detail though it's well worth it and you guys give it a try and leave it in the comments below I would love to see your your photos and if you have any questions, like I said, leave them in the comments. I'd be more than happy to get back with you guys. Go ahead and hit the notification bell and make sure you subscribe and we'll talk to you guys soon. All right, take care.